I'm reading Psalm 96, 1 through 6, and 11 through 13. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord. Praise his name. Proclaim his salvation day after day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous deeds among all peoples. For great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Splendor and majesty are before him. Strength and glory are in his sanctuary. Let the heavens rejoice, let the earth be glad, let the sea resound and all that is in it, let the fields be jubilant and everything in them, let all the trees of the forest sing for joy, let all creation rejoice before the Lord. I welcome all the young disciples to come forward and um, meet Miss Jean. Praise ye the Lord, hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord, hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord, hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Good morning, young disciples. It is so good to be with you this morning. We're having a kind of different kind of worship service this morning, aren't we? Do you know what's different about it? Avery, Avery. Avery's in here. What you said? A lot of singing, all music. Most months have four Sundays, but some months are special with five Sundays. And here at Francis Asbury Church, whenever that happens, we do a whole lot of singing and praising God, and I love it. I wonder if any of you have a favorite song. So many, yeah. Singing is good for us. It's good for our bodies and it's good for our brains. And I was thinking about the book of Psalms this week because it's a book in the, in, right about in the middle of our Bible. And it's made up of different poems and songs that different people wrote. Some of them in there people are saying, God, please help me. And some of them people were just so overjoyed with God that they just wrote a beautiful song that they just had to sing. That's what we're going to do this morning. You know, Jesus spoke words from the Psalms in his teachings, and he prayed some of the words of the Psalms, and we can still do that today. I have, you know, I have some special books I really like. This one is called Psalms for Young Children. And it's, it's just Psalms reworded in ways that it helps us understand it a little more easily. Appropriate for children of all ages. And I'm going to read three songs, and there's going to be some pictures up on the monitors in case all the disciples want to see the pictures. Here's the first one. This is from Psalm 89. God, you are so great. I want to tell everyone I know about you. I want to sing about how much you love me, about the beautiful world you made. I will sing for you all day long. Wow. All right, I have another one. There were so many in this book. There were like nine or ten of them talking about singing. I had a hard time deciding. This one has a picture of children running and playing in the sunshine. God made us, and we are all God's people. So we should sing songs of happiness. Let's celebrate God's goodness, God's love that will last forever. That was from Psalm 100. I changed two of the words. That's what that writing was. Okay. I have one more, and this is from the very last psalm in the book of Psalms, Psalm 150. And it's all about singing and praising. You see these children with instruments? That reminded me of you all, because we're going to see that in just a minute. A drum? Mm -hmm. But it has a Yes, it does have a heart. And this one, I'm not sure what it is. Maybe it's some kind of child's xylophone. Yeah, maybe. Everyone sing praises to God. 
Let's praise God with guitars, drums, trumpets, or tap your feet and dance. Hallelujah. Let's pray. God, thank you for the gift of music and the gift of song. Thank you that you are faithful and you are loving and that we get to know you. Help us this morning as we sing to grow closer to you and closer to one another. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, now I think we have special music from you. Francis Asbury, 
We reach out to our family and our neighbors with visits, welcome gifts, prayers, feeding our neighbors, giving space for children to gather in day camp, space for the Lummi Valley youth to meet as well. But Lord, sometimes we miss the mark. Forgive us. Remind us and renew us for the joyful service of to share and to be the light of Christ in our community. Hear the songs of your people today. Whatever songs you may be calling us to sing, songs of peace, songs of healing, songs of justice, of hope, and songs of praise. Thank you for those times when out of the blue we're reminded of a melody or a song that we heard at church and how it can inspire us throughout the week. Oh God, thank you for the gift of music. We pray for those who may find it a little difficult to sing today because of uncertainty, loneliness, worry, grief, pain, or illness. Remind us that there is always a song, always a lyric, always a tune, even when there are no words, that can speak to our hearts in any given moment, even the songs for heavy hearts. We lift those on our prayer list, both in public and in our hearts. Warm them with all your light and love. Lord, we are grateful for the promise from Zephaniah 3.17 that you sing over us. The scripture says, For the Lord your God is living among you. He is a mighty Savior. He will take delight in you with gladness. With his love he will calm all your fears. He will rejoice over you with joyful songs. May it be so. And now with one united voice, we pray the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And it is not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And now in our worship service, we give back to our God with our tithes and offerings.
Psalms 147, verses 147. Praise the Lord, how good it is to sing praises to our God, how pleasant and to praise Him. The Lord builds up Jerusalem, He gathers the exiles of Israel. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. He determines the number of the stars and calls them each by name. Great is our Lord and mighty in power, his understanding has no limit. The Lord sustains the humble, but casts the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Lord with grateful praise, make music to our God of the heart.
stand as you're able and join in singing our closing hymn, Shalom to You. Amen. Amen. Amen.